Hi everyone, to my fellow classmates and to our teacher, good day. I hope you're doing fine today. I am Raquel Marano and we are the group four. And for today's video, we're going to talk about urinary system. And at the end of this lesson, you will able to characterize the role of each part of urinary system, list the parts of urinary system, outline how urinary system works, explain how urine system produce, importance of urinary system, and the cause and how can we prevent the urinary infection. So let's identify urinary system. Urinary system, also known as the renal system, produces, stores, and eliminates urine. The fluid waste is created by the kidney. So meaning the urinary system eliminates waste from our body. Also, um, it regulates the blood volume and the blood pressure, controls the levels of the electrolytes and metabolites, and the regulate blood pH. So it is important no, because it filters waste and extra fluid from the bloodstream and removes them from our body in the form of urine. So this is how urinary system look alike. So as you can see here in the picture, it consists of kidney, ureter, bladder, and urethra. So this is the urinary system of male and females. So let's identify kung may pinagkaibaba sila. Male and female urinary system is similar, but it contradicts on the length of the urethra. As you can see above, there is a picture of male and female urinary system. The female urethra is much shorter than that of male, being um, 1.5 inches long. Also, in female, the bladder is located in the front of the vagina and below the uterus, while the male... The bladder sits in the front of the rectum and above the prostate gland. And for the discussion of how urinary system works, we have Mom Emery Milliard. Hello everyone, I am Emery Milliard and I will be the one to report how urinary system works. The liver, renal pelvis, ureters, intestine, and urethra are all or are all organ of the urinary system so the urinary system's function is to filter blood and create urine by waste as a product the renal and urinary process aid in the elimination of urea as well as the equilibrium of chemicals such as potassium and sodium and water in the body when protein rich foods such as beef poultry, and certain vegetables are broken down in the body, urea is formed. Urea passes through the bloodstream to the liver where it is excreted into the form of urine along with the water and other waste. So as you can see, the body takes nutrients from the food and converts them to energy. After the body has taken the food components that it that is needed waste product are left behind in the bowel in the blood in the blood other important um, function of the kidney includes blood which controls red blood cells production in the bone marrow and kidneys also regulate the acid based balance and conserve fluids so there, um, the other function is to remove waste products and drugs from the body. This is a function of um, urinary system. Balance the body fluids, releases hormones and regulate blood pressures, and lastly is to control the production of red blood cells. So now that we are done talking about how urinary system can work, let us all jump to the next topic, which is the roles and function of each part of the urinary system. So first, we may all know that the urinary system have a major part. The first one is the kidney, the second one is the ureters, the third one is the bladder, and the last is the urethra. So now we are going to identify the roles and the function of those. And now let's proceed first 
with a kidney. So, kidney. What is the roles and function of kidney? So, the role or the function of kidney is to remove, remove rather the waste products and excess fluids from the body. Excess fluid and waste products are removed through by a urine. So, that is the function or the role of the kidney to remove the waste products and excess fluid from the body. So, the next is the ureter. So, what is the function? Then the role of the ureter. So the function or the role of the ureter is ureters as the responsible for carrying urine that's from the kidney up to the bladder. So it means that the ureter is like um pick up delivery boy. Why? Because that ureters rather can get up or take up the urine from the kidney. Then after that the ureters will go or will went to the bladder because ureters carry the urine and it will passage or will down at the bladder. So the next one is the bladder. So what is the role or the function of the bladder? So the role of the or the function of bladder is it simply the bladder is the storage of urine since we all know that the ureters is the responsible for carrying urine so the ureters or the urine that carry by the ureters will go to the bladder because the bladder is the storage of the urine so the next one is the urethra so what is the role of or the function of urethra so the role of, or the function of urethra, so urethra is the one that is responsible for disposing urine from the body. It means that urethra is the way for the urine to pass by through the body. So that's all. Good day to each and every one of us. I am Donita Rose at Mendoza, Pisset Wandi. Are you ready for the next lesson? So let's discuss the importance of a urinary system as it functions to preserve homeostasis and generate essential hormones. The urinary tract system is a vital part of the body's overall maintenance. Your kidneys work hard to keep your body's internal pressures under control. Get rid of the waste from the body. Control the levels of electrolytes and metabolites to regulate blood pressure and serve as the body's drainage system are the purpose of the urinary system because it is responsible for the eventual removal of urine. The kidneys have an extensive blood supply by the way of the renal arteries which leave the kidneys by the renal vein. Both kidneys are comprised of a functional unit that is known as the naturopathy. The following filtration of the blood and further processing of waste in the form of urine exceed the kidney through by the ureters. The tubes are made of the smooth muscle fiber that is get moving in the urine towards the urinary bladder, where it is expelled from the body through by urination. So did you know how urine form and are produced? So keep in touch. I will explain it to you. The kidneys is one of the organs of the urinary system. It removes unwanted compounds from the blood and produce urine to excrete them. Filtration, reabsorption, and secretion are the three major processes of a urinary formation. This procedure ensures that only waste and excess water are collected from the body. Let us first discuss the glomerular filtration. The glomerulus filters water and other substances from the bloodstream. Blood flow through the glomerulus as part of filtration. So what is filtration? 
Filtration is the beginning of the process by which the blood courses through the glomeruli, much of its fluid containing both useful chemicals and dissolved waste materials soak out of the blood through membranes where it is filtered and then flows into Bowman's capsule. The filtration membrane keeps blood cells and large proteins in the bloodstream. In the glomerulus, blood pressure drives fluid from the capillary to the glomerular capsule through a specialized cell layer. This membrane, the filtration membrane, requires water and small solutes to get through but blocks blood cells and large proteins. These materials remain in the bloodstream. The filtrate or the fluid that has gone through the membrane spreads away from the glomerular capsule further in the nephron. Reabsorption moves nutrients and water back into the bloodstream. This reabsorption of essential nutrients from the filtrate is the second stage in the production of urine. Reabsorption is the movement of a substance out of the renal tubules back into the blood capillaries located around the tubules. Waste ions and hydrogen ions secreted from the blood complete the formation of the urine. This is a mechanism called secretion. The secreted ions bind with the remaining filtrate to transform into the urine. Urine is spilled out of the nephron tubule into the collection duct. It flows out of the kidney into the kidney's pelvis, into the ureter, and down to the bladder. Secretion is disposing of substances not already in the filtrate eliminating undesirable substances that has been absorbed or reabsorbed by passive processes, reading the body of excess potassium ions and controlling blood pressure. And lastly, did you know that urine is 95% water, 0.2% of creatinine, ammonia, and uric acid? 2.8% dissolved salts and other ions, and 2% of urea. Percentage of the composition of salts, ammonia, urea, water, and other urine elements. Nephrons in the kidneys process blood and make urine by filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. Urine is around 95% water and 5% of waste material. Nitrogen waste excreted in urine includes the urea, creatinine, ammonia, and uric acid. Ions like sodium, potassium, hydrogen, and calcium are also eliminated. Good day everyone. I am Giselle Bonagortega from Bisad Duwandi. I am going to discuss the urinary tract infections or UTI and of course, the causes and how prevention of urinary tract infections. So, what is urinary tract infection? A urinary tract infection is an infection in any part of your urinary system. Your kidneys, ureters, bladder, and uretra. Most infection involve the lower urinary tract infection is the bladder, and the urethra. Women are a greater risk of developing a UTI than a man. Why? Because a woman body, the urethra is shorter and the bacteria that easily to travel a shorter distance to reach their bladder and also copes with lot as it adapts and changes over the course of a lifetime. As well as Trials and tribulations of dealing with menstruations, pregnancy, childbirth, and eventual menopause. Another one of the lives, my ladies, you can expect two cases are urinary tract infections or UTI.
Men can also get UTI, but in less common with odds rising to 1 in 20 during their lifetime because men have a longer urethra which makes it harder for bacteria to get uh, into the bladder. Okay, so let's proceed the causes of UTI. Urinary tract infections normally occur when escherichia or tinatawag nating E. coli. E. coli bacteria get into the urine and begin to grow. The infection usually starts at the opening of urethra where the urine leaves the body and moves upward into urinary tract to bladder. Because the E. coli bacteria can move quite easily from the area around the anus and the frenum to the opening of the urethra, however, the bacteria will thrive. When introduced to ur urinite acidic states, if the infection isn't treated immediately, it will continue on the quickly infect the kidney that will cause a kidney diagnosis. Okay, let's talk about the symptoms of urinary tract infection. The first one is symptoms of bladder. The symptoms of bladder is faint or burning while urinating. The second one is frequent urination. The third one is feeling the need to urinate despite having an empty bladder. Blood urine, pressure or cramping in the groin or lower abdomen. The last one is urine that a first red, bright pink or cola cola red. So let's proceed the symptoms of kidney. Fever, chills, lower back pain in the side of your back, and nusa or vomiting. So this is the Symptoms of urinary tract infection. Okay, so let's proceed the prevention. UTIs can't always be avoided, but it's possible to reduce your risk of getting one. Here are the ways prevention methods that may help us sidestep a urinary tract infection. The number one is wipe prone to back. Since the rectum is main source of E. coli or Escherichia, it's best to wipe your genitals from front to back after using the bathroom. This is the way to decrease the risk of bringing E. coli from the anus to urethra. The second one is drink plenty of fluids. Stay hydrated throughout the day. This will make the pee more frequently, which flushes bacteria out of your urinary tract. Water is the best choice. In four, six to eight glasses per day. Avoid alcohol and caffeinated drinks, which may irritate the bladder. The third one is avoid holding your pee. Avoid holding in your urine as this can encourage bacteria growth. The second one is urinate before and after sex because sexual activity can increase the chances of getting a UTI, especially if you're a woman. To reduce your risk, pee immediately before and after sex activity. The next one is avoid scented products. The vagina naturally contains more than 50 different microbes, many of which are types of bacteria, help keep the vagina healthy and the pH level balanced. The scented feminine product can disrupt this balance, allowing harmful bacteria to overgrow. This can result in UTIs, bacteria, vaginus, and yes, infection. Number eight, get antibiotics. If you get 
UTI that don't respond well to treatment or keep coming back, your doctor might recommend that a small daily dosage of oral antibiotics. This can help prevent the UTI by controlling harmful bacteria. Number six, explore birth control option. Some types of birth control might promote an overgrowth of harmful bacteria. Number seven, take probiotics. Probiotics are lib microorganisms that can increase good gut bacteria. They may also help promote the growth of good bacteria in the urinary tract. Number nine, lastly, consume cranberries. Cranberries are a traditional home remedy for preventing UTI because the berry has compound called proantocyanidins that may prevent E. coli from adhering to tissue in the urinary tract. It's also thought that vitamin C in cranberries may increase the acidity of urine, which may reduce overgrowth of bad bacteria. So that's all. I hope you learned many things about urinary system and you remember and understand the different function of its structure. Again, we are the Gear 4 and thank you for listening.